to do with Confederate symbols in Atlanta is going to the next level. Now, the city of Atlanta put together a committee that will make recommendations on how to handle the monuments and streets associated with the Confederacy. And tonight, the advisory board met for the first time. Fox 5's Laura Neal is at City Hall with more. Laura? Tonight was the first meeting for Atlanta's Confederate Street and Monument Advisory Board, and it was based mainly on logistics. Now, this meeting was not well attended, but that shouldn't be the case for long. Tonight's attendance of the meeting is another one of those things. People want to do a great deal of stuff, but most people don't want to attend the meetings. And this is the thing, too. If you're going to be a part of this conversation, you're going to have to attend the meetings. You're going to have to come and you're going to have to do things. And this is going to be uncomfortable. David Mitchell is one of the few Atlanta residents that showed up to the meeting Wednesday night at City Hall. And he says he wasn't happy that others didn't join him. This is a conversation about who what we are as a nation. This is our story. This is not simply just stone or words on rock. This is our story. And how we tell our story is very, very, very important. Wednesday night's conversation consisted mostly of elections of chairs, a welcome from the mayor, and a deadline of about 45 days. This committee is to review and take public comment on monuments and streets associated with the Confederacy on city property, like Stonewall Street and Confederate Avenue. Mayor Kasim Reed says he and the city employees are there to help in any way. I don't want any resource spared in the work of this body. So I don't want you to feel bound or limited in any way in terms of access to talent uh, and expertise. The mayor's office and Atlanta City Council nominated the 11 committee members. They range from historians to civil rights leaders to corporate leaders. This group will talk to experts and residents, compile the feedback, and present it to the mayor and city council at the end of their 45 days, give or take. People we spoke to tonight say they just want to move forward with a plan that's mutually agreed upon. I heard a long time ago a good outcome is when both parties leave unhappy but with more than what they thought they'd ever get.